What's going on everyone? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews. So I am at nearly two years now in the Makita XGT platform. Makita came out with the XGT platform in the United States uh, almost about two years ago in, I think it was uh, shortly available around May-ish um, in 2021. Uh, you might be able to get some of it earlier if you ordered it somewhere else online, but they had a very few tools available right away. I think it was just like a drill impact circular saw. Um, might be one of the, H, the heavy duty um, concrete hammers. And they also had the reciprocating saw. So that's about all they really had initially. Um, the one thing that I was really excited for, well actually two things I was excited for to get was gonna be the reciprocating saw and then a chainsaw. But the chainsaw only came out this year here in the United States. So I was able to finally pick one of those up after uh, two years of waiting basically. But anyways, on to the reciprocating saw. So of course this is the Gen 1. There's a Gen 2 now that has orbital action. Um, and of course that one is quite expensive. That's why I haven't actually bought it yet. It's pretty much the, in, pretty much the same price as this entire kit that I have here. Um, this is my original charger over here, original four amp hour battery, and of course my reciprocating saw. This is the GRJ01 reciprocating saw. Now it's been phenomenal for me so far. Um, I will start with the downsides first. If you're thinking about considering going from LXT or even another platform into XGT, I'll let you know on the downsides right away. So of course, price is gonna be your biggest downside. Um, at the time of when I bought this kit, it was 347. That's off Amazon was the best price I could find it at. Came with one battery, charger, and of course the tool. Um, so yeah, it's pretty expensive compared to a lot of other brands where for around 400 bucks you can only get like four to six tools from a lot of other brands in a larger combo kit where XGT of course is much, much more expensive than that. The other downside that I've noticed is that this is definitely heavier than pretty much every reciprocating saw that I've used. Um, that's of course because it's going to be a bigger motor in there. Makita's really aiming for that, you know, industrial level, really high end pro grade. So they're trying to go for a lot of the XGT tools. So it's better build, better build quality, better built, but yeah, it's gonna be a little bit heavier. So if you're looking for more compact tools, XGT is definitely not the way to go, but if you just want the best tools, in my opinion, that money can buy, I think XGT is definitely the way to go. Well, the second thing I found that has been phenomenal has been battery life. And with the, with the XGT tools, what I've noticed is when you bump the voltage up, voltage up here to 40 volt, it's gonna be four amp hour, which this is gonna be equivalent to an 18 volt battery at eight amp hour. So basically, you know, two four amp hour batteries on the 18 volt LXT platform is equivalent to one of these. Remember, you can always check kind of equivalent batteries by just checking out the watt hours in the bottom of the batteries. That's a kind of a universal way to see, you know, how much total power is in that battery. Kind of gives you a way to compare batteries relatively easily. But what I was saying though about this tool versus the LXT tools is that Makita doesn't just double the power of these tools. It's not like, you know, you're gonna use, if you put them both side by side and pulled the triggers, they're not gonna last, you know, the same length of time on. Um, but Makita actually has these with much more smarter electronics, smarter motors, where it's gonna use the power that it needs at the time. It's not just gonna waste energy, you know, just running at full throttle for you. So I've been able to get basically effectively double the runtime out of this tool on certain jobs. Where I'm with Zach, he's using a either Milwaukee or Makita 18 volt tool. And I'll be using this and I'll be able to change out my battery one time for every two times he changed out his battery. So I'm definitely I'm getting about double the runtime on this tool, not with every XGT tool, but at least with this tool, I've noticed about double the runtime. So, you know, if you're using it for super heavy duty stuff, of course, you're not gonna get double the runtime. Um, but I will say though, the runtime on these tools has been phenomenal. Um, definitely very well impressed with that as well. The only downside I've noticed with this tool in particular is that it definitely is quite loud. Um, it's got kind of a loud whine to it and I'll let you hear that now. I'll put it in speed two, it's got two speeds. Let's hear that now. So I tried talking a little bit there over it. You definitely can't hear me talk over that at all. It's definitely a very loud tool. Probably one of the loudest ones that I've used to date. Um, I will say one thing that I'm not gonna blame the tool for this one. This was on me. I tried cutting up some uh, palm trees and I was using just one of the regular blades I had for you know, a pruning blade. And I actually got some of the palm tree stuff kind of, you know, 
jammed in here a little bit. Not the tool's fault. I should have been cutting polish with this tool anyways, but it still got the job done, which was pretty cool. But had some of that jammed in here. I had to take a nose pliers and pull it all out. Now, luckily, none of that stuff actually, I think, went past the uh, little piston uh, part here. So I was able to get it all out. Really no problem. It took me like 20 minutes. It wasn't a big deal. Uh, but I was going to also bring your attention to the shoe here. You can see some of the shoe damage here that I've gotten uh, over the two years of using this. Uh, I would say I probably use this thing maybe once a week, if not more than that. Uh, this is definitely my you know heavy use, heavy duty reciprocating saw. Um, it's been absolutely phenomenal. And even you know, the XGT batteries, I haven't had any issues at all with those. Um, I haven't noticed any like battery degradation at all where I'm you know, seeing less of a runtime on the tools. It seems like it works the same when I pull it out of the box on day one. It's been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, charger, of course, right behind me has been awesome too. Um, nothing, no issue with that at all. Seems like it's been rock solid. I have heard some people having issues with chargers online where they die randomly. So something that I've heard of, but never seen myself, of course. That's the only negative thing I've seen with XGT up to this point. I haven't really seen any other issues other than possibly with the chargers, but you know, once they make a Gen 2 charger, I'm sure that'll be all worked out, no problem. So guys, that's pretty much all my thoughts I've got on this XGT tool that now I've had the longest. Um, I think XGT is definitely an upgrade over LXT, definitely well worth it, but you're gonna be pay, paying definitely a hefty price to upgrade from LXT, um, absolutely no doubt, but worth it, I think so. So guys, you know, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Stay safe out there.